First, you assemble the box. Important is that you dry assemble everything first. That means put all the pieces together without glue, just use masking tape. This might take an extra 30 minutes, but you know exactly where everything goes and it will ensure that you get it right. And you can be fast when you actually glue everything together. Okay, you can start by gluing the extra pieces before assembling the main parts to the box. Let's zoom onto our back door, actually on the inside. There's this frame that goes on the inside. Make sure that all the pieces with little markings are on the outside. These markings are screw position indications. Place the frame on the inside with glue and slide the dowels with glue as well into the holes. These dowels will be a little bit too long, so let them stick out on the inside of the box, saw them off and later on sand them. Let's flip to the back door part. So this you do after the box has been varnished. Attach the hinges and the sliding lock. There are these screwing markings for where to put in the screws, so it's really, really easy. You can see here how the box fits together. It's rather easy. Always use tape to create good pressure between the pieces when gluing them together, because we want this to be light tight. On the front, below the lens hole, are the fixations for the negative holder. Glue those two T-shaped pieces into the slots. Here are the two circles for the sleeve. The thick, smaller circle is directly glued to the box and the thin, bigger circle on top. All of that connected with the dowels that we have in the correct size for you. The sleeve you put on at the very end once the varnish is dried. Let's go to the lid. Here as well, make sure that the markings for the screws are on the outside. They will correspond with the markings on the box for the hinges in the back and the locks on the other side. There's also a small hole on the top. This is where you can glue in one of the magnets we provide to keep accessories in place. The leather corners are glued on with contact glue after varnishing and nailed with the tiny nails we provide. The leather handle has two special screws in brass as well provided. On the back you have the hinges and the four magnets. These magnets are also for accessories. The magnets you can glue in with super glue. Once the tension locks are in place, you're done.